Hi, I'm Jennifer and I'm a military spouse and this is my vlog. I want to show you what it's like to move during PCS season. So um, as you can see, this is my house. I've already started putting up some of the things. Um, one thing that you'll notice as you're moving through the military is that some of your possessions that are more personal and private, you'll want to take yourself. So we always do what's called a partial ditty. And that means you can pack some things like this stuff, I'm gonna have them take, but this will be like the things that we take. So of course the most important part is gonna be our PS3 and our PS2 um, and Xbox, PS3, PS2, wh whatever it is, all the gaming systems. Of course, they have to go with us because, you know, my son always says, hey, then no one will know where we're going. And then um, another thing you want to do is you're going to want to have all your personal items. They're called your um, high cost items and they're going to be in a different place. So that way when they come to do inventory, they can write it all down. So you're going to, um, you know, like your TVs, your radios, your cameras, things that you don't want to take, you're going to put there. Um, I also try to separate everything by group. So like I have my kids toy, like extra toys and games and such um, right here. Um, you're going to want to bare all the walls. So all the walls have to be naked. And... This is kind of what you got. And then I always put all my things that are um, wall decorations in one area so that packer is not stressed out and they have plenty of room to wrap. So this is all of our wall hangings um, for the main house. So like downstairs, um, the living room, things like that. It's, except of course, like you saw, we have the good old uh, Captain America shield that's that's like my husband's favorite so that we will take with us but um, I, let's go upstairs and I'm gonna show you some more things that we're gonna do and yes I can see it's dark I'm sorry about that but um, turn on some lights so this is where a lot of people um, like I don't know, I, I find it a little overwhelming. Well, the mover will tell you, this time the mover told me, unpack all your closets. Seriously? So, yeah, I unpacked the closet. Looks great, right? Right, sure, sure. But now where are you gonna put all that crap? This is where my crap is. So, um, and this wasn't even all of it. It started out like, quadruple and then I had to downsize. One thing that you'll find in the military that you do when you move, downsize, 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 downsize. You can't take everything with you. You'll exceed your weight. You will, um, you'll start taking things that you'll start like hoarding and nobody, nobody wants that. Nobody wants to be a hoarder. But some things you just have to let it go. Now, there's some things that, of course, I can't let go. Um, and the, you know, whatever you can't look at, that's fine. Whatever it is, just, you know, as long as it's keeping it to a minimum. So, um, like for instance, I still have bears from when my little son was a boy. Telly Tubby, yay! Telly Tubby, go bye bye. Okay, Telly Tubby. Um, but really, this is my favorite. This, look at this, Shrek, Shrek baby. Hello, I'm a Shrek baby. Ooh, ha! We won that at Universal Studios, and let me tell you, I love it. Anyways, oh, and this is the most important thing. You're going to lose stuff. Um, I just found my freaking hammer. I'm so happy because, you know, that's, I'm notoriously called the black hole because I don't know where the hell I put stuff. So it just ends up somewhere, and then, bing, one day it just shows up. Um, I try not to change the rooms out until, like, the very last minute, and we're two weeks before Packers come, which sounds like we're really far away, but no, we're not. Because next week I have to take down all the curtains, you have to wash them, you have to have them ready packed, um, and then the week that the movers are here, um, 
you won't be able to really use your washer because you're going to be using it for other stuff like your linens and things that you find stuff just everywhere. But as you see, my son is a, a, a total techie guru. This is his office and um, there's some really cool stuff that he owns. Ooh, if I could get it in the camera. But the main thing is, is that you want to focus on anything that's electronic that you can't save. Um, anything personal, you're going to want to separate it and you have to depersonalize the house. Um, this is military housing. So, um, you always think like, oh, you just move right out. Oh, hell no. Um, military housing is one of those places where you really need to, you know, respect the, um, authenticity of the house you need to you know keep you know be respectful that you don't change the demeanor because this is a historic house so you like can't like go through and like rip off the baseboards or paint them crazy and stuff i mean you can paint some things i did paint one wall and i painted it back and that took forever and it was a nightmare mainly because my husband made me buy the cheapest paint possible don't do that don't buy the cheap paint primer because you'll end up painting for like four hours and you'll be miserable um but that's it for now. And then as we go through this PCS season, um, I'm just gonna take you along and show you what it's like to be a military wife. Until then, bye.